Assalamualaikum and hi to Dr. Hisham. So basically last Tuesday we were given two tasks uh, during the Carnival Jom Science that has been held at Panggung Mucubaan. So the first task is actually just to introduce ourselves using the Flip Grip apps and the second task is to um, observe uh, one living things including human, insect or any animals. So we need to observe and relate what we have what we can find on the carnival with what we have learned during class. So uh, there is one animal that I'm interested in that I found during the KJS and it's basically a tiger. So uh, based on the tiger what can the thing that I can relate on what I've learned during the class is the digestive system of the tiger. So today I'm going to share the digestive system of the tiger. So before we go on to deep into the digestive system, we will see the uh, evolution of the digestive system in mammals, specifically in tigers. If you read the emergence of mammals, the digestive system modified depending on the animal's diet. For example, the cat, which is the carnivore, has simple large intestine, while the horse or the herbivore has a voluminous large intestine. So I'm going to compare between herbivore and carnivore digestive system. And accordingly to the animal diet, their digestive tracts are different. So the digestive system includes the elementary canal formed by the pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. Uh, the elementary canal is actually start from the mouth until the end of the anus. Okay, the next one is the oral structure, which consists of lips, teeth, and tongue. And lastly is the accessory digestive glands, which is, for example, salivary gland, liver, and pancreas. Okay, so uh, actually the biggest difference between carnivore, carnivore and herbivore is actually the length of their digestive system. In carnivore, the digestive system, especially the intestine, are much more shorter than in herbivore. Uh, this is because in herbivore, uh, as we all know, herbivore is plant, so the plant is more easily to be digest than the flesh. So the carnivore that eat flesh, um, uh, the other reason is because the flesh can is easily right. So it needs to be processed as fast as it could, as fast as it could, so that uh, the animal can absorb all the nutrients in the flesh. Okay. Moving on to the next one is we'll go through the digestive system. Okay, so for the tiger, the digestive system works the same as in human and it excretes urea is their nitrogen waste and their excretory system consists of two kidneys. And basically the digestive system consists of the stomach, liver, pancreas, small intestine and large intestine. Okay, now we will go through uh, the pathway and the part that involves in the digestive system. So, firstly, um, in the tiger, uh, the food will first go into the mouth as the tiger eats. So, in the mouth, you will see uh, the tiger jaw contains incisors, canines, and molars in both. Jaws. And so the molars are weak, and the movement of, of the jaw goes up and down, which uh, will use for the foot to be crushed so that they can uh, make the particle of the food to smaller one. And then after that, it will go in the mouth. Uh, there's a salivary glands. And the salivary, salivary glands serve just to lubricate 
because in uh, carnival uh, the celebrity tent doesn't contain engine so it's not an important as in human after that uh, the food will go through the esophagus into the stomach so uh, in the stomach uh, it will help to liquefy the meal and it also subjects the food to concentrated solution of hydrochloric acid which dissolves the food so basically in the stomach there is a high contain of hydrochloric acid so that the food can be dissolved next after the stomach uh, the liquefied food will move on into the small intestine and the small intestine consists of duodenum, duodenum, and ileum. And uh, in small intestine, the liquefied food for the time leave uh, the stomach and enter the small intestine. Uh, in the small intestine, uh, the food is digested and nutrients enter the bloodstream. The pancreas and liver supply and deliver the enzymes needed to break down the fats and protein into their component fatty acids and amino acids. The pancreatic enzyme breaks down the chyme into its fatty component and continues to do this throughout the chyme passage along the small intestine. And so after the process are done in the small intestine, it will go into the large intestine here. So the large intestine consists of the cecum, colon, and rectum. Uh, in the large intestine, by the time the chyme has passed through the tiger's small intestine, the large of the process of digestion and absorption of the nutrients in the food is complete, and the large intestine allows water to escape. And so the colon extracts the water and compacts the rest of the waste material from what is left to the, of the kind into small compact mass where it is stored in the rectum until it's finally expelled through the animal. So that's the pathway of the digestive system of the tiger. So uh, next we'll see the glands that are produced during the digestive uh, process in the animals so um, uh, various types of glands are secret which are secret which mix with the food as it passes along the gut and these secretions include firstly uh, saliva which is uh, secreted into the mouth from several pairs of salivary glands and the saliva consists mainly of water but contains salt and mucus. The function of the saliva is to lubricate food as it treat and swallow it. As I've mentioned before, um, the salivary glands of the, the saliva sorry, the saliva of the tiger doesn't contain any enzymes so it's not as important as in human as Function is actually just to lubricate the food so it can go through the esophagus. So the next one is the gastric juice secretes into the stomach, and the gastric juice contains pepsin that breaks down protein and hydrochloric acid to produce the acidic condition under which these enzymes work best. In dairy animals, training is to digest milk. Uh, are also produced in the stomach. Okay, so the last one is uh, the bile that is produced by the liver. It is stored in the gallbladder and secreted into the duodenum via the bile duct. Uh, bile duct is not a digestive enzyme. Its function is actually to break up large globules of fat into smaller ones so that fat sitting enzyme can gain access to fat molecules. Okay, after what I've explained, so uh, what I can simplify 
is the script in this picture. So based based on this picture, so I will um, repeat or uh, simplify again what I told you before. So uh, the digestive process starts from the mouth which uh, the food entrance and then we will go through the salivary glands here that will help to lubricate the food to go through the stomach and then the food goes to the stomach yeah the stomach and then in the stomach uh, protein digestion took place and then after that the food the liquefied food will go through the small intestine and in the stomach, uh, there is a pancreas and also a liver that will secrete the, liver, the needed enzyme uh, for the food to be digested. So in the small intestine, uh, digestion and absorption of food occur. And then the food will go through the large intestine where salts and much water are absorbed. And then uh, after um, the, food, the protein or the nutrients, have been absorbed and then it will go through the NS and then uh, the weight will exit. Okay, I think maybe that's all from me. Uh, that is what I can read from what I have observed during the carnival jump time. As I mentioned before, uh, I like tiger and I I relate what I can during the class with the KJS. So I hope you can enjoy my video and thank you so much for the